Welcome to another installment of the Mastercam Studio at Prototech. This exclusive video series features the exceptional functionality found only within Mastercam, the number one most widely used cam software in the world. Here's the topic of today's video. Today we're going to take a look at advanced chaining techniques in Mastercam 2024, specifically for solid models. Now what I run into is a lot of people still don't know that they can chain right off a solid model without any wireframe. So let's go ahead to my screen and take a look. So on my screen here, I'm gonna segregate this to no vices. So we can kind of see what we have going on. And in this situation, this could lend to many different ways to toolpath this part. We're gonna focus in on the chaining of just a contour toolpath in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a contour toolpath and we're gonna be right inside of our chaining dialog box here. Now as standard with Mastercam, we have our wireframe options, which we won't discuss too much today. I wanna to mainly focus in on the solid chaining uh, methods. So in the solid chaining methods here, we're gonna start with these options. So the first one is, is edges. So in this case here, I have edges and I have 3D on. So if I just hover over an edge of a solid, you'll see an E symbol. I know I'm on an edge of a solid model and I can just left click and I get a chain on there. Now with 3D selected, what it'll do is it'll get to that branch point or end of that edge and it's going to stop and say, which direction would you like to go from here on? Now I have a multiple ways to do this. If I click on the arrow in the direction I wanna go, I can continue on with that chain. I can also utilize these branch points down here. So if I want to adjust this, and on the screen right now, you're noticing a blue arrow and a red arrow. Red arrow is where it wants to go, but maybe I wanna go up that blue arrow. What I can do is I can use branch points here and I can adjust it to switch my red arrow from where it was. And I could hit this uh, next arrow and it's gonna drive that chain up that wall. Um, another method to chaining direction here is, is maybe I want to go uh, this direction. I can cl simply click on that arrow and it'll go along that edge as I go without utilizing the branch points. So, um, you know, edges is the first method we'll take a look at. And in our chaining manager, anytime you want to get rid of a chain, maybe I don't want that chain, I can just unselect it with this option here and it gets rid of all of my options. Um, C plane is going to be similar to edge, but it's not going to give me all the options. So if I go ahead and go to C plane, it's going to run it as far as it can go. Now, if this was a loop potentially like on the top of this part, you'll see that it loops all the way around. So since we're in C plane, it doesn't see any 3D branches. It'll go all the way around as one feature. Next option here would be loop. Loop is just like full chain in Mastercam. So if I go ahead and go to this top edge, you'll see that it's visualizing me or showing what the loop is. Now, since I'm on C plane, I only get uh, chains that are flat to my current C plane. If I go to 3D, now you'll see that I get multiple edges as I move my mouse back and forth of which loop I want to pick. So that's where the 3D um, option there can come into play. Uh, we also have face. Face is a simple, just left click on a face, and that's going to give me my chain all the way around that face. Pretty simple one to use. Um, we also have partial loop, it's just like partial chain. So I can come in here and maybe I want to do a partial loop in this, this bottom section. So my partial loop is going to start where my first click is and it's going to end where my second click is. So in this case here, I just, just did a partial loop on that um, option. Um, the bottom four options are, are newer options to Mastercam and they're really great for a lot of things. So if I go ahead and go to outer open edges as my only option here and I click this face. So what we have here is we have an open edge and then we have a bunch of shared edges. So if I just left click on there, I get that edge automatically selected for me. Now this could be multiple edges. Um, for example here, if I come into this face here and click, um, I don't see anything because that's a cavity. But when we're in these situations like this, there could be 50 or 60 different openings. And just by selecting that one face, it's gonna chain them all the same direction. Um, the next one we'll take a look at here is outer shared edges. Now in this example here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this same face and you'll notice that it picks the shared edges. And a good way to look at these two options here that I'm showing you is if you take a one, two, three block and try to slide it, outer shared edges is gonna stop and that's where it's gonna put that chain. And outer open edge is it's gonna slide right off the edge. Nothing to stop that one, two, three block is a good way to look at this. Uh, we also have cavities. So cavities is a great option here. And if I go to cavities and I pick, let's say this whole face here, 
it automatically chained all of my cavities on that face. So where is this great? I can mass select by one selection on a face of a part and it's gonna find all these cavities for me in this case. And then last but not least, we have bosses. So if I go to bosses, and I have a couple bosses or four bosses on this face here, a simple left click selects all them bosses automatically for me. So as you can see, these options uh, give you a lot of variety in how to pick apart uh, quickly and efficiently and very easily by just selecting a face in most cases here. Um, other options we're going to have in here, since I have four chains, maybe I want to change direction on one of these chains. What I can do is I can hover over it and I can left click and it'll give me the dynamic option down here on the start end options. So if I go dynamic, now I can move this around wherever I want to start and just a left click will switch that around for me. And that'll work the same with all of these chaining methods. All I have to do is go and grab them chains. Now, maybe I want to see all the chains. So here's another scenario where I'm only seeing one chain, but I have four chains picked. Um, this option, here we'll go ahead and it'll display all of my arrows so now i'll be able to go back select that chain dynamically move that one around if i wanted to as you can see here which makes it really versatile and and how you can adjust after the fact um, a few other things or options are in here is this is going to be a reverse button so if i want to reverse that chain it reversed it to the other direction a nice quick easy one and then if i did have an open chain not necessarily a closed chain like i have here i could adjust where the start and end is by just moving to the next end point of that feature um, other options we're going to see in here is last. Last is your last chain. So if you pick the chain and you're going to do another toolpath on that same exact chain, uh, you can just hit last and it'll go and reproduce that chain that you picked last time. So many great options in here. Um, many different scenarios that this can be used in and really if you have a nice clean solid model there's nothing better than these methods right here so let's say that we're out of here um, and we already have some chains there is a way to go back and edit these chains on the fly so in this first tool path here i have a couple chains so if i click on the word geometry um, i'm in my chain manager here and what i can do is i can uh, pretty much just click on my solid chain group and inside my solid chain group will be actually what I pick here. So in this case here, I have a few chains on here and a couple, for example, here, a couple edges. Now new for 2024 Mastercam is if I have these chains visible in here, what I can do is I can hover over these arrows and I can double click and it'll just change the direction of that one chain. So if I wanted to change this direction here, all I have to do is hover, double click, and it changes just that chain's direction, uh, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, other options we have in here is a right click menu. So in a right click menu, you can edit, you can delete, you can reverse the chains you can reverse just uh, the single chain um, change at point is in here and we can also add chains here and one other option in here that a lot of people kind of get a little confused on is change side if I'm picking up cutter compensation on these this is going to be the side that compensation is on so if I get it my shallow arrows or my shorter arrows on my screen to point the wrong direction I don't have to go and rechain anything I just have to hit rechain side or change side I, I'm sorry about that um, a couple other options in here this one here if I have a lot of chains and I don't know what that chain is I don't have to pick through each one of them I can go to this white arrow and I can just pick on that chain and it'll tell me which one it is so if I come into here shows me which one it is come to here shows me which one it is making editing very easy there um, so there's a, a lot of little methods to this madness here with chaining. Um, try to use some of the solid chaining methods in your next programming um, job that you have coming up, and you'll see the benefits right off the bat, how efficient it is. Um, and you know, going forward, make sure you're checking out our YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see you next month, and thanks for watching.